everyone. Welcome back and happy Sunday. All right, guys. Well, everybody's been talking about Katie Maloney's new boyfriend and some red flags. Now, I want to preface this by saying, one, I love Katie. Um, I've known her off and on for about 10 years. I think Katie's such a sweetheart, and I think that Katie deserves everything. So I do want to make sure that that's known. And if there are red flags about this guy, then it's not something that I want to be like, oh my God, look, we got you, Katie. And honestly, she probably doesn't give a shit what any of us have to say about it. Because if she's happy, Katie has been able to successfully compartmentalize. I think in my opinion, I could be wrong. um, Because I don't want to pretend like I know what she's thinking. But I think she's been able to successfully compartmentalize the fame and also her own personal life and keep the two separate until she has to. But with that, we're going to jump into all of the details of this. So smash the like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's jump right. All right, guys. So. This is where we're going to start. Now, Katie Maloney's new boyfriend sleeping with Sirens guitarist Nick Martin. You guys have seen him, right? Well, he's under fire. Just after Nick was confirmed as the mystery man of the Vanderpump Rules co-star, the one that she's in love with, as Katie's friends grow concerned about Nick's rock star lifestyle, a woman named Brandy Bay has come forward slamming him in his treatment of women and accusing him of cheating on his now estranged wife, Jenna Martin, after he attempted to silence her. Nick Martin collects women, but doesn't honor them, is what Brandy wrote in an October 17th post. I really hope to protect future women from this treatment. I'm overtaking the high road and being silent. So here's every photo his lawyers told me that I couldn't post. Now, continuing on, Brandy said that Nick not only cheated on his wife with a mistress, but he also approved one of his bandmates' infidelity. He took pride in bashing women, especially those he's been romantically involved with, from his high school girlfriend to every woman in his 20s, to his wife, to his crazy mistress. Still, I pass this off as scorned ex, scorned ex energy until he starts talking about his friends' relationships. Every woman that he knows, whether it's his best friend's wives or his bandmates' wives, is crazy. At one point, he told me his friend cheated on his wife and their small baby because she was too bitchy to stay with. To point the blame on the mother rather than the male infuriated me, and it was the first fight that we ever got into. Now, Brandy also labeled Nick as a pathological liar, sharing that he told her he was divorced, even though he had yet to file any documents to end his marriage. I remember now being weirded out that he didn't let me in his house the first few weeks that we dated. I understand now it's because his wife wasn't ever fully moved out yet. But in addition to Brandy's claims against Nick, a recent report has suggested that despite his new romance with Katie being in a good place currently, her friends have compared him to her ex-husband, Tom Shorts, who cheated on her during their relationship. He's a cool guy, and they, they're they like best buds when they hang out, very comfortable with each other. That's what an insider revealed to the U.S. Sun on October 18th. They bond really deeply over music and similar tastes, and it's been exciting for her. It's still new. Started over the summer, but casually, they're more and more happy, and they appear to be all in for now. And still, pals do worry about Nick's lifestyle and allegations that are made against him. He's a touring musician, so that will raise some po- problems eventually. Some questionable decisions that he's made in the past have also made her friends compare him to Tom Schwartz. They love Katie, and they just want to make sure that Katie is not dating a Tom Schwartz 2.0. And everyone knows that she deserves so much better than that. But Katie's a smart woman, and she'll figure it out. On her Disrespectfully podcast on Wednesday, Katie confirmed to listeners that she was in love and really happy. And she said, he just makes me feel really special. And he's really special. And yeah, I'm just really, really happy. Which is so nice. But then there's this. After Katie confirmed that she was in love, they, and it was an insider, revealed details about their romance. They said, Katie loves the emo music scene, and she's been a fan and a friend of Nick's band for some time. While the pair started out as friends, she took things took a turn this past summer in August, and their relationship developed really quickly. 
According to the report, Katie and Nick met through friends in the music industry, and they bonded over their businesses, including her sandwich shop, something about her, which she co-owns with her friend and Vanderpump Rules co-star Ariana Maddox, and his coffee shop, Charlie Royal. Although the couple was trying to keep things under wrap due to Nick's ongoing heavy divorce from Jenna Martin, who we just talked about, that's who he married in September of 2016, they've been growing their relationship in the meantime. Yeah. While it is unknown when Nick and Jenna split, they were last seen together on Instagram during a visit to Universal Orlando Resort for Nick's birthday in December of 2023, a couple months after Katie began liking Nick's posts. On Wednesday amid the taping of her podcast, she said, I do have a boyfriend and I'm in love. But although Katie has not confirmed Nick's identity, the two of them were seen seated beside one another at something about her earlier this month. It looks like she's doing just fine. And her new relationship with Nick comes just two years after her divorce. And it was in July of this year, while appearing on the Not Skinny But Not Fat podcast, Katie opened up about the issues in her marriage. And she said, there was so much missing. I needed a partner in life and I needed that big love. And I just didn't have that. And I feel like he just didn't like me in ways. And she then noted when it came to a potential reconciliation, there was no chance of her and Shorts ever getting back together. I don't think that he's done any type of therapy or work. And he still wants to be like, yeah, I understand. In the bar, my family was going through stuff. And I'm like, sir, when are you going to talk about your involvement and like our relationship and not showing up for me and giving me emotional support and acting like my emotions were valid? When? Oh, that's actually a good point. But last but not least, I'm going to play a clip for you guys. I'm going to play this twice today. But I don't know if you guys saw this because we talked a lot about it, but Go off, Brittany. Like I'm telling you now in my new dating life, like if I start seeing red flags, I'm just going to be like, nope, girl. See, now you run. run. Yeah. You learn you, in your 20s, you go through it and you learn now in your 30s. Like, listen, I yeah. know what to do. I had one little like secret rendezvous that the whole world has to find out. It's like, you know what? Most people, if they, oh, yeah. most people, if they like hook up with somebody, yeah. the whole world doesn't find out about exactly. it. Exactly. Like, I, 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 I did, I did everything in private. It I was know. just a like hookup thing after my divorce to like mm-hmm. make me feel better. As somebody you should. I knew, somebody I liked that I thought I could trust. I found out a lot of things later on. Can't go into too much detail. You'll yeah. find out all about this soon. Yeah. But trust me, there was a lot of things that I found out later on. And it's just like, if I ever see red flags. Now you know. I'm like, oh yes. no. Good but vibe. you should be able to do your thing, though. So let me just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thing, but, I'm, I'm going to yes. have fun and do whatever. But the see. whole red flags thing yeah. is like... I don't even think that term was invented whenever I started dating. I don't even think so. Yes. <laughs> you know what? On, right? Oh, yeah, gosh. Really like, bad. I'm telling you now, in my new dating life, like... I mean... <laughs> I think that term was invented while I was dating Jax. (laughs) Yeah, probably, honestly. I mean, yeah, girl. It actually probably was. Anyways, I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Pop off in the comment section, please. Also, don't forget, you guys, and I'm so sorry, but I know that we missed Hot Messy Topics this past Friday. We are going to be missing it tomorrow, too, because I'm going to be on a plane. But I will get back to it on... Tuesday, I'm pretty sure. And then after that, we're going to do Real Housewives of New York, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And then I'm going to Salt Lake City for another project. So I'm not going to be doing Hot Messy Topics next Friday. So it's just one after another. Um, But I will keep you guys posted. That way you're not waiting for them. And I am so sorry in advance. And I love you guys. And thank you so much for even dealing with me with my camera off. I'm literally sitting in a Ford Expedition rental car right now because the hotel kicked me out from recording. So I love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.